Martin for the Supplemental Instruction Series of Videos for Chemistry 121. And today we'll be practicing with the pH equations you learned about earlier. Now, what I have written up here on the board is a little chart we have. So we have hydrogen ion concentration, hydroxide ion concentration, we have pH, pOH, and whether or not it's acidic or basic. So, we'll work with the first one, for example. Now, the next empty one is going to be the OH concentration. Now, as you may remember, that when you multiply the hydrogen ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration together, you get 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So, if you wanted to find one of them and you knew the other, you just have to divide 1 times 10 to the negative 14 by the other concentration. So doing that, did the math beforehand, I get a, value, a concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative 6. All right. Now, next we want to figure out pH. Now, as you may remember, pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So, plugging that in, we get this answer of 8. And then, finally, to find pOH, you do remember that pH plus pOH always add up to 14. And so we can just subtract the pH from 14 to get the pOH. And in this case, it is going to be 6. Now, determine whether that's acidic or basic. Well, if, as you may recall from looking at a pH scale, 7 is neutral. Anything less than 7 is acidic. Anything greater than 7 is basic. So look at the pH here. It's 8 greater than 7, so therefore it is basic. All right. Now moving on down here, this time we're given the hydroxide ion concentration. And we want to find the hydrogen ion concentration. Again, it's the multiplying the two together to get 1 times 10 to negative 14. Figuring that out ahead of time, we get 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3. Now, you can check any of, all of these answers on your calculator to follow along, just to see that you're getting it. So, moving on. Now we have, want to find out pH. Again, pH equals negative log of H plus concentration. So in this case, we have a pH of 3 and a pOH based on pOH equals negative log of OH concentration. We have a pOH of 11. Now to determine whether that's acidic or basic, pH is 3, less than 7, and so it's acidic. Now, as you do more of these, these become more routine. Now, here's where we get into the trickier part. Here, we're given a pH and nothing else. So, first, we can either start, we can either start by figuring out concentrations or figuring out the pOH. Let's start with the concentrations, just to get it out of the way. So, as you may know, pH equals negative log of the H concentration. Now, if you recall any of your math skills, you can rearrange this so that you can get the H plus equal to something in terms of pH. So, to do that, we, it basically boils down to this. H plus equals 10 to the negative pH power. I'll let you verify that on your own time, but for now, just trust me that this formula works. So, using this, we get a concentration of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 4. And then from there, of course, we can figure out the OH concentration using formulas we already know. 
and that gets us 1 times 10 to the negative 10. Then 14 minus 4 is, of course, 10. And that, of course, is going to be acidic. Then we move down here. It's sort of the same situation, except in this case, you're given the pOH instead of the pH. But it works in a similar way. You're still using pOH equals negative log of OH minus concentration. Of course, like with the pH, you just have to rearrange it in order to get a different equation to work with. I'm sure you can guess what that's going to be. It's just OH minus equals 10 to the negative pOH power. Again, I'll let you verify that on your own time. So, going here, Actually, we use pOH to figure out OH concentration first. In that case, it's going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 2. And then, using the equation relating the two concentrations, we get 1 times 10 to the negative 12. And then, of course, pH plus pOH, using that, we get a pH of 12. And then whether it's acidic or basic, well, pH is 12. That's a lot bigger than 7. And so that's going to be basic. So that was a, essentially a drill going through using the different equations to figure out all the different quantities, the different concentrations, pH, pOH, what have you. Now, these are pretty simple examples, but you'll come across more complicated examples, but since you have the tools to work with them, I'm sure you'll be able to do just fine. All right, now have fun practicing those, and remember, don't burn yourself.